it's been so long. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, really. Oh, let's talk about midpoint. So uh, today. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the math judge. Um, never mind. You know what I, you know what I am. <laughs> uh, midpoint. So basically, you could do any sort of midpoint on this graph. Let's pick a few points. Maybe let's go with two five. Can you graph that on your sheet? Two five. And then let's say let's do some negatives. Negative two three. Negative two three. Why not? Negative two. Three. How about um, negative two, negative three? Go a little further away. Yeah. Cool. And you know what? Uh, let's not do two because the midpoint of two and negative two is zero. Let's have a little more fun with it. Let's go to negative four, three. How's that? Negative four, three. All right. So the object is to basically get the middle of this line. Cornelius, you talked about midpoint being um, the what between the values. Can you say that word? It's the A word. The a, no. Oh, the average. The average, right? It's yeah, the average between the X's is. and the Y's. You. So you know what would be fun is let's represent these points, negative 4, and this is 2. And then we can go with, let's say, green, negative 3, and 5. So if we want the midpoint between these two coordinate points, as you said, represented on a coordinate plane. We basically need the average of the purple numbers, the x's, and the average of these two, or the middle. That's all it is. That's all it is. All right, so what I want to do is I want people to hold up with their hands what the average is. Don't call it out. Just hold up with your fingers. I want to see how many people can get the average of 2 and negative 4, the middle number. Go to it. No. Try again. You need something? No. It's not this. There you go. Yes, yes. What do you got? Yes. Front? What's the middle of two and negative four? It's all I'm asking. Yes. Okay. What do you got? Who me? Yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Negative one. Negative one. That's right. Negative one. Look, you're welcome to do it that way. That's what the books do. They do the average. They do x1 plus x2 over 2, which is the average of the x's which is negative 1. A good method for me is, how much space is there between negative 4 and 2? How much space, how many numbers between negative 4 and 2? Six. Six. Six, there you go. Yesterday we were doing this intuitively, remember? Remember you are doing how much space between them? Yours. Negative 4 and 2. There's six away, okay? So if there's six away, the middle would have to be how far away from each point? If there's six away from each other... Three. Three. They have to be three away from each other to get to the middle, and that would be negative one. It's actually right here, Grab. Sweet. Right there, negative one. Okay. Now show me with your fingers the middle of negative three and five. Yes, 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 yes. We got more? Yeah? Okay, it's okay. It's okay to use the calculator. I'm all I'm, I'm great with it. I'm great with it. Yeah, yeah. So say it together. What is it? One. 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 So for the same reason. How far away are negative 3 and 5? Eight. 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 That's what it was. Eight. And if they're eight away, what's the middle? How four. far away from four. each? Four away. Four. So what's four away from five? Fourteen. One. Four. One. 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 And what's four away from negative three? One. One. Very good. One. One. Good. There it is. One card. So now the next challenge we're going to do before we finish this one is if you get two points, you say like, B is the midpoint. Here, write this down so that you have this as a reference. B is the midpoint, B is the midpoint of AC. A is, let's say, uh, negative 1, uh, 6. And B is <laughs> negative. No, let's go with positive. Let's go uh, three and uh, four. Okay. So what is C, right? That's the question. So what I would say is if you're comfortable using the graph, feel free to use that as a visual aid. If you're comfortable using the formula, x1 plus x2 over 2 is the midpoint. However, we see that B is in the middle here. 
This is what I suggest. Let's do something like this, and then we could do our game. And then I'm going to take your hand. Do you have a question? No, I want to answer. Okay, great. Let me put this down. What, go what point goes here, class? C. C, that's C. right. Yeah, we read the question. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Alligator. After a while. <laughs> Crocodile. Thank you. Is uh, that my generation uh, yeah. only? Okay. Did you know that? Please tell me you've heard that one before. I thought you were just... No! I see blank stairs! <laughs> see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Have you heard that before? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh, okay, then what's the blank stairs? I, had a <laughs> I thought you were telling me it was like... You actually haven't? Okay. It's cool. Generational crossover. Fun moments. Nice. I'm a little younger. You're a little older. Meet in the middle. Midpoint! Oh, get that! Yeah! That judge comes up with that. <laughs> So C goes here, B goes here, let's make a little space, here we go, and let's throw the points in, negative one, six, and we had, uh, what was this one? Three, four. Three, four, thank you. Okay, so now let's use this logic. Welcome. All right, raise your hand if you feel comfortable with what we did yesterday to get this. You have a couple people. Okay, it's okay, this, this, that's why we're doing this, that's why we're doing this, it's okay to not know, it's okay to not know. Yeah, chime in, go ahead, tell us. Okay. So, uh, basically, I did uh, what plus negative one divided by two equals three. He's going formula. Cool. And that's seven. Okay. When seven divided by negative one, you get six divided by two, you get three. That's a fair process. What plus negative one divided by two is three. So, formula approach would be x1 plus x2 over two equals the middle. So he has negative one, let's take this down one more time. Negative one plus x2 or whatever over two equals uh, three. And that answer comes to negative seven. Multiply both sides by two and so. Okay, so that'll be fine. All right, so that's great. That's a great way to do it. Can we try it also visually now that we did it equation-wise? What's this distance? Four. Four. Four, right? Yeah. So negative one plus three. four would make three. So now how many do we go beyond three? Four. Four, four again, Seven. nice. Four again, leaving us where? Seven. 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 Here's the thing. I have a personal disagreement, respectful disagreement, with teachers that say solve problems this way. Do it this way. I don't believe in that. I think you should solve problems the way you need to solve problems. And so formula method, just as good. Oh, snaps. Here, snaps. Do, you, do you ever get that in your classes? Yeah. I would say it's not okay. Just do it any way you want to, right? So now let's try it this way. I want you to hold up with your hands. Six to four is how far down? Two. Two, very good. And so we go two again, leaving us at? No. Two, yeah, right, two. Two, two, two. All right, so there's the missing point, seven, two. Two, four, six. Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight. <laughs> yeah. Yay, Matt, yay, Matt. Yay. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, so thank you, everyone. Say bye. 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 Go, yay, Matt. Great, okay, see you tomorrow. You should change the board. Oh, yeah. <laughs>